child with blood in the urine. Sometimes fever, malaise, anorexia. The kid has history of bacterial infection, usually of the pharynx or the skin. It is acute proliferative glomerulonephritis or post-streptococcal glomerulonephritis or post-infectious glomerulonephritis. Additional symptoms include hypertension, oliguria, and edema. Post-streptococcal glomerulonephritis can develop at any age, but most common among children. The infection is caused by streptococcus bacteria. The infection causes blood vessels in the kidneys to develop inflammation. This hampers the renal organ's ability to filter urine. Post-streptococcal glomerulonephritis is presented as nephritic syndrome, which means hematuria and hypertension are more prominent, while proteinuria is less pronounced. In contrast of nephrotic syndrome, in which severe proteinuria, greater than 3.5 grams slash day, and edema is prominent. So, post-streptococcal glomerulonephritis characterized by nephritic syndrome, not nephrotic syndrome. The mechanism is a type 3 hypersensitivity reaction. The body responds to nephrogenic streptococcal infection by forming immune complexes containing the streptococcal antigen with a human antibody that have affinity for sites in the glomerulus. As soon as binding occurs to the glomerulus, the complement is activated. Complement fixation causes the generation of additional inflammatory mediators and damaging vascular wall. Diagnosis Evidence of a preceding streptococcal infection is determined by measuring anti-streptolysin titer and anti-nicotinamide adenine dinucleotidase anti-NAD, which tend to rise following pharyngitis. Serum complement level, C3, is usually low due to its consumption in the inflammatory reaction. Urine analysis, shows macroscopic or microscopic hematuria, RBC casts, mild proteinuria. White blood cell casts, hyaline and cellular casts are usually present in the urine analysis. Renal function tests, blood urea nitrogen, BUN, and serum creatinine typically elevate during the acute phase. These values usually return to normal later. Treatment Acute management of acute proliferative glomerulonephritis mainly consists of blood pressure control. A low-sodium diet may be helpful. In individuals with oliguric acute kidney injury, the potassium level should be controlled. Antihypertensive medications Thiazide or loop diuretics can be used to simultaneously reduce edema and control hypertension. In cases with uncontrolled blood pressure, the use of calcium channel blockers is recommended. Post-streptococcal glomerulonephritis has an excellent prognosis, especially in children. Usually within 6 to 8 weeks. In adults, around 50% of the patients continue to have reduced renal function, hypertension, or persistent proteinuria. Death in adults is often secondary to heart failure and renal dysfunction.